So today I'm on 1452, we're making progress in the right direction. I won two games and lost one. This loss was a very close game. Kind of disheartened that I even lost it. This guy played quite above his level for this game. He, it, was, it was a good game. I wish I was actually recording that, even though it was a loss. It was an interesting game. I always say I, I wish I was recording some sort of a game, but whenever I do record, it's a trash game. <laughs> Lately, for the last three days, I think the games have not been very interesting. Today, hopefully, we get an interesting one. Oh, a 1500. I usually show my best side when I play a 1500. Okay. Let's think for a second. All right. Seems okay to me. All right. So this is like <laughs> fried liver, but the opposite side. Let's see what's the best way of dealing with this. Should I just block? You know, that's just a free pawn. All right, what could be done? Have to be careful there. This is a move. And then try kick the knight out? Or should I just move? <sighs> Already got myself in a, in a mess. What the fuck? Even if I do do this, he takes with check. I'm going to block. I don't know. All right, so I guess that was the main line because he just took right away. <laughs> Let's think. Okay, cool. Now what is he gonna do? Oh boy, I'm gonna be definitely down a pawn from this exchange, from what I see. I spent a minute thinking of the fourth move of the game, so he's thinking as well. So my calculation is he takes, and then I could take, which is fine, or he takes, I take, then if he does take my knight, that's a bishop. But then he could continue taking here, or he could take this pawn here. All right, so he's done that. He's uh he's decided to. I'm okay with this. If he does take, I will just develop my bishop, and it's just gonna, you know, eye up this pawn here. But then again, I don't know where I'm, which way I'm gonna castle. I have these two pawns. They're not isolated, but my pawn structure on the queen side is a bit messed up. I think I'm just gonna castle. Is there a more forcey move? This I think he has to take this. No, he doesn't actually. He could just push, and if I do take, I lose casting rights. So, in fact, I'm just going to castle first. I'm okay with... Okay, so he's attacking my pawn. I'm just going to push. So, if he does take this time, I could just take with my rook. First of all, these pawns here look so messy. that like, I don't even mind, like, trading them off. I have a nice attack, I'd say. You can just push forward. Again, I could take... Or maybe if he does push forward. Oh no, he that's that's taken with check. Okay, so he's defending the pawn. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna isolate his pawns. Why not? This looks good. Yeah, that looks good. He could obviously defend like this, but oh, that's not a free pawn. I was thinking I could develop my bishop right here attacking the queen so he's got to move off move away basically not really actually he could move here let's see yeah cool oh this is a move though does that cause any sorts of problems what about this he can't defend this forever i do see this by the way maybe even if even if i do get a trade in and i win uh win this pawn I'm not so actually I was thinking I should have maybe defended this first but if I do end up winning a trade and having a rook here or something which I'm not because because I didn't see this move uh, I thought it would have been fine because I could just get my other rook in the game but I think it's time to get my other rook in the game now so I could do this now because this bishop can't get in the way so this is a tempo on the queen I think it's starting to get real uncomfortable for him all right so I just slid over So 3v3. Do I have this? Or I could double double my rooks. Oh, and you could respond like this. I'm going to first double my rooks. Having a queen side attack. I mean my opponent is still up a pawn. So it's not I'm I have very good development right now. This then this I think. But then he takes 
could take another pawn. Do I defend this? Oh shit, wait, I could just. I almost missed that move. <sighs> alright. Alright, it's all good. I could go for. Well, I would. Check. Check. I'd be. I mean, I'll have to give up a rook for the knight, but I'd be shredding his queen side open. Or do I just play simple? I don't see the problem there. No need to put myself in unnecessary risk. This is check. He could run up, but then he loses the queen. Hopefully I don't blunder this. Oh my God, I feel on fire right now. If I lose this, this is still hanging. But I, I just have too much pressure on him that he can't even consider taking this right now. He could try run away, I guess. Maybe look for a trade. Don't know how he would look for a trade to be fair. But he's thinking, he's thinking hard. He's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. I feel like he's just gonna resign. He's thinking real hard. He's looking for some counterplay. All right, let's see. Check. Up. Check. Up again. Check. Seems fine. Let's see. He's got a block like this now. He can't go anywhere. I think this is checkmate. He's got a block. And then mate. Yes! Let's go! Let's fucking go! What a game, I'm telling you. When I see the numbers 1 5, it's finished. It's finished. Play like a 1900. Chess.com likes flattering me, but I know I didn't play like a 1900. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so, okay, that was the best move. I spent a minute thinking about this and it paid off. Takes. That was the best move, too. He took which I thought was also not the best. I took, he took again, and now I have this nice diagonal. That was a miss, revealing attack. Ooh. What should I have done? I, I was thinking about pushing this, but what was the problem again? So I thought I push, he could push forward, and yes, I could take, but he takes this. Oh wait, I have my knight defending. Oops, is that still not the best? Uh, this, uh, this is not a miss. Is this the best? Wait, oh yeah, I'm such a dumbass. I have two pieces defending this. Whatever. Anyways. So, best move there too. He's made a mistake. I capitalized, split his pawns up. This is a mistake. I uh, missed opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This. Whoa, Stockfish really wants me to bring my rook up onto the, rook up onto the sixth rank. <sighs> Alright, so he doubles up, which is the best defense, and then I bring my rook in, he defends with his knight, and then I win a tempo on his queen with my bishop. He slides over, I double up, and he blunders there. I almost missed this, I was like, I calculated that obviously he was going to come try defend, but I forgot that I was attacking that, and I forgot the whole point of the queen moving was because I was attacking it. <laughs> But I eventually did see it. I was about to take, I felt I was about to do something else. I was, about, I was about to do this elaborate knight jump to like try to pressure the queen. Anyway, so he messed up. I took a pawn. And then, yeah, after that, it's just checkmate. I think that was one of the best games I actually captured on camera since I've started. And I enjoyed playing it. And I enjoyed playing chess for the first time in a while, actually. Because lately I've just been blundering and it's just not been fun. And I lost like 100 points, 150 ELO points. I was 1500 at the start of this. In 14 days, I've gone fucking backwards. Hopefully from here on, it will just be a steady climb. I think like I feel quite sharp today. Maybe I'll play another game after this or two, who knows. So today I end on 1461. Tomorrow I hope to get closer to 1500 and maybe within a few days even surpass 1500 for the final time, hopefully, not, not coming back into this ELO range of 1300s. Yeah, so I'll see you guys here tomorrow.